Hello everyone, today we have new video review and as you can see this time it will be a resin kit from Halbert Models. Again, it's a wheel set of course and it is modeled in 148 scale. It is designed for use with F14A Tomcat and as you can see there are 14 resin parts with 4 rubber wheels. So in my opinion this kit might be handy with all recent releases in 148 scale which copy uh, famous Tomcat aircraft and now we have a quite useful addition to them. So first of all packaging here is quite typical I would say that's a small black box and I am going just to increase the frame rate so that you can see everything in a bit more smooth fashion. From the other side we can see that there is just a Halbert Models logo and that's pretty much all. So let's open it and take a look inside. So just give me a second. Okay, so here first of all we have resin ports, then we have rubber, then we have the assembly manual. So we are going to start with the resin ports and as you can guess resin ports feature wheel rims which will have to be used together with rubber tires. So those are um, quite nicely molded resin ports in my opinion. Uh, just like in the previous video reviews with sets from this manufacturer, as you can see we have really good detailing and I think it will be even better uh, looking part once you paint it. But let's do the uh, maximum focus so that you can see those parts even closer. Here you can see those wheel rims. Note the attachment points or let's say the connections to the resin base are not that thick. They should be more or less easy to cut through. And overall detailing, as I say, it looks convincing and it should be even better with some painting and weathering applied on those parts. So these were the main wheel rims and here we have the nose wheel rims, which also look good. And the same style of the attachment points. You can see the, I guess that was the number of the set, right? No, it is not. So I'm not sure what this number means, but here from the other side we have the logo of the manufacturer. Okay, next we have rubber parts and just to be sure or to be clear I would like to remind you that those are not typical rubber parts. Here manufacturer using slightly different material and that's why those are more um, long lasting let's say in comparison with typical vinyl or rubber. So there is nothing to be afraid of and here you can see those parts. So we have this type of the tire thread. We have two tires for the main wheels and also two tires for the nose wheel. So let's bring closer one of the main tires. I would like to show it as close as it is possible. So here you can see the tire thread. Uh, of course we have some detailing on the tire walls and that's look really um, amazing in my opinion. Because of course you won't get such detailing in the original plastic kits. As far as I remember even Tamiya plastic did not offer such um, let's say molding quality and that's really cool to have because in 148 scale such upgrade will be noticeable and here we have also the nose tire ports and as you can see they are featuring the same level of detailing as the main wheels. We even have the Michelin, uh, Michelin logo on these parts. Okay. And next we have assembly manual, but I guess you won't need it because it's quite understandable what you have to do. But in case you would like to be sure, here you can see what you can do. So there are some optional parts as you can see. And I'm not sure why they're optional. So I guess you can replicate it either like this or with those parts, the part number 9. Ah, there is also part number 5. So here we have the choice between this or this part. It is quite interesting that again in the, another set from this manufacturer we have choice of the assembly so you can get uh, different versions if you need to and that's really nice of them because you won't have to get some separate set for some specific version. And of course note that here you have to drill and remove those um, rubber sections and it should be quite an easy process. As far as I remember, they have the um, 
video with assembly process on their uh, Facebook page, so I recommend to check it. And here we have the parts map, just in case you would like to be sure that you have all the parts in the box. So, in my opinion, this is a quite worthy upgrade to your F14 and 148 scale, so if you are brave enough to build the Tomcat in such huge scale, it should be worth also uh, getting those wheels and installing them on your aircraft model. Of course, I will be happy to hear your opinion about this kit, write it here in the comment section below. If you like this video, don't forget to press the like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And I will see you in the next video review as usual. Bye.